Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mo and Never Quest. I know it's the poet here. And today, we are doing some APA goodness. As you could probably tell, I was going to change the coloring to something a little more brighter so you could see it a little bit better. You can see me a little bit better, but I'm not worried about it. I was working. Basically, what I was doing right now is I was editing. Okay, I was editing this video. I was editing, man. I was editing with a nice Corona. Corona familiare, you feel me? I ain't scared of no virus, nigga. I ain't scared of no virus. That's real talk. But basically, today is the first game of the APA season for me. For everybody who plays APA, I guess. For <laughs> everybody, I guess. And my first weak opponent is Medicus. Make sure you guys go check him out. His link will be down in the description below, as well as in the video for the remainder of the battle. So go check him out. Go check him out. Um, make sure you smash that dang old like button. Smash that shit, man. Smash it. I want to see one million likes. Oh, that's the showdown video. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, this is me working. That was me working, basically. You see, I was working. But, yeah. Whew, man. Luckily, I was working and not enjoying my free time. Because I was enjoying my free time, this video was demonetized. <laughs> this video, this video would have been D-E-M-O and D-men. D-men monetized, okay? But, anyway. Smash that like button. 1 million likes. Let's go. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Week 2 will be versus Joey. We're going to take that nigga's soul. Best believe that. Okay, okay, okay. Part 2. Part 2, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. And this time, I think I figured out that it was... That was actually my team preview. So I need to choose based on what I think he's going to lead with. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, that was fun. Um, so his best lead is really uh Dragapult, but actually, I think he'll lead with Dragapult. And if he doesn't lead with Dragapult, uh, Charizard basically deals with anything else that he might lead with. We're level fifty. Oh, second. It's supposed to be level 50. I didn't notice we were level 50 last time. Let me enter the, and then I could just enter the rest of my Pokemon in. I'm basically leading with Charizard, expecting him to lead Dragapult. Uh, but if he doesn't lead Dragapult, then I'll do a bunch of damage to his team. That is the, uh, the thought process. And let's see if we actually load into a game. Okay, so we got to the we got to the looking cute part. That's me. That's him. Don't make my outfit better. But you know. That's just me, fashionista. Okay. And he let off with Zygarde, which is Dragapult? No 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 no. It is Sanaconda. Okay, well I'm gonna G Max and max overgrow this thing normally you don't he who g maxes slash dynamaxes first loses but from his team it doesn't go that way basically all i need to do is trap his excadrill with duck trio and then blaze through his team with Charizard plus Halucha. And then Toxic Spice with Weezing for the Clefable. And I'll be able to get the Toxic Spikes up on. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. But oh boy, I'm getting big turn one. <laughs> we got Charizard! Oh shit, that boy is loud as hell. Let's go. Max Overgrow. 
Oh, that's the sea. That's the tree of life. That's the tree of life. <laughs> that's the tree of life. Oh shit! The tree of life does not play. The tree of life does not fuck around. So if he goes to Excadrill, I'm assuming that it's probably Sash and that his plan is to um rock to me or something. Mmm. And I might just stay in and go for it. He didn't bring Machamp, so he doesn't have a G Max. Which is very interesting. Very, very intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Mm, yes. So I gotta keep this in mind. In order to use my grassy seed, I have to switch within the next three turns. So I'll switch on my last turn of um well once my Dynamax is over, I'll switch to Halucha so that way I can get that going, start breaking in his team a little bit more. And then I'll use Toxic Spikes, uh Vaporeon. Toxic Spikes on Weezing plus Vaporeon to clean up his team. Oh perfect. He's giving me Clefable. Uh, if I can kill this thing, that would be perfect. Uh, so that way, Halucha legitimately sweeps his team. Like, it'll legit sweep his team. Because the only thing he'll have left is uh, Vaporeon. That's it. And I'm sub too. So, unless he has Roar on Vaporeon, he won't be able to uh, to beat it. Look at that fire. Okay, so use Calm Mind, so I'll do less damage, but he's taking Wildfire this turn. Um, so I should be able to knock him out, uh, but he does have Leftovers. Oh, and Grassy Terrain, that's right. Wait, I didn't see... I didn't see the, um, the Wildfire hurt him. I'm actually going to hard switch to Weezing here. I'm going to let the, the Dynamax go. And I'm going to get my Toxic off. Because I think that's more important. And I may not be able to use the Grassy Seed for Halucha. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But I also just may not need it. He went from Moonlight to Heal, which makes perfect sense. So here's my thing. I'm wondering if there's my G Max Flames. It finally came in. It didn't hurt him the first turn though, right? At, at least it didn't say anything. Maybe it maybe it did, and I just didn't notice. I don't know. Uh, so here's the thing. I'm gonna toxic spike first before I toxic, just because I don't think one he might not stay in. He sees the neutralizing gas, so he might predict, and he might switch to Excadrill. And if he does, then I'll get the toxic spike up. Uh, he'll rapid spin, and then I'll go to uh, Duck Trio and trap him. But uh, two, because I don't think he can do much of anything to my Weezing immediately. Like the biggest thing he could do is like Moonblast, maybe Thunderbolt, depending on what kind of set he has. Uh, so I think a Toxic Spike is pretty free. And uh, looks like I was right. And so I would hard switch to um his leftovers. I would hard switch to Doug Trio here or um Oh, I have Flamethrower now Will O Wisp. Interesting. Maybe I should switch. Cause he could rock. And the thing is if he rocks. Wait, wait, wait. Is my grassy terrain over? I think it just ended. I think it just ended. I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to this, though. Because even without the use of acrobatics, I have Iron Head. Like, I'm sub I'm sub SD Iron Head. That still does a lot of damage to his team. So we're going to see what he does. We're going to see if he hard rapid spins. I think he rocks, though. Oh, grassy terrain was still up. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And Eclipse Substitute. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's see if he's a Toxic set. If he's a Toxic set, uh, we're in an amazing spot. Now, if he does have Iron Head, that kind of sucks. But I do have a plus one defense. Um, so we'll see what he can do about it. But he might be a Toxic set. So we'll see. And if he's a Toxic set... 
Oh, baby. We fucking, hey, we fucking shit up. We fucking shit up. All right, so I sat behind a sub and he used Rock Tomb. Okay, Rock Tomb is neutral and I'm plus one defense. And I have, I'm sub roost. Oh, no, 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 I'm not roost on this. Okay, I'm going to SD. I thought it was roost. <laughs> I thought it was sub SD roost. Google, shut up, stupid. I thought it was sub SD roost. I thought it was super nasty. I was like, oh, I brought, oh, I brought the nasty, I brought the nasty, nasty set. I'm about to tear the house down. I did not bring the nasty, nasty set. So, um, I don't know. His, uh, his thing is either magic guard or unaware. I don't know yet. If it's unaware, he does get poisoned. And if he's magic guard, I'll be plus two attack with this iron head on his clefable. And the next best thing he'll have is Vaporeon, really. And like I said, if Vaporeon doesn't have Roar, uh, I'm going to two-hit it and get it out of here. So we'll see what his plan is. Oh, he withdrew it. Oh. And he went to Clefable. So we'll see right here. It got poisoned. We'll see in a second if it's going to take damage. But I'm going to SD, and I do have the, I do got that iron head on me, boy. You know I got that thing with me, boy. You know I got that thing with me. Are you kidding me? Is it even a question? Is it even a question if I got that thing? Let's see if he's hurt by poison. He was not hurt by poison. Ooh, that means that boy finna take some damage. Oh, you know what? Acrobatics does more, but I might get the flood share, so fuck it. Acrobatics actually does do more. I'm doing the numbers in my head. It does five damage more, five base points more. But Iron Head has a flinch chance, so you feel me? It's definitely better. It's definitely better because it has a flinch chance. Flinch, 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 flinch. I'll play him. I'll play him. I'll play him. On Fort. On Fort, indeed. <laughs> On Fort, indeed. I thought I was going to outplay him. Maybe I should have double, uh, maybe I should have SD'd again. Uh, so he has Mandibuzz, Vaporeon, Dragapult, Excadrill, Clefable, and Sanaconda. Sanaconda's dead. Clefable's gonna be dead. So it'll just be Dragapult, Excadrill, Vaporeon, and, uh, Mandibuzz. Um, I think his best Pokemon to go out to will be Mandibuzz, uh, just because it can foul play. Um, it might be Vaporeon, depending on what kind of set he has. No matter what he's going into, though, I'm just going to hard acrobatics, unless he does go back to Excadrill, which would be a bad play, so I don't expect him to do that, because uh, he switched out of it before. And I still have my plus one defense. And I still have my, uh, my Sash on the trio. For Dragapult, which will be beautiful. And then, um, yeah, Vaporeon, Mandibuzz, mm, Vaporeon, Mandibuzz, Excadrill, Dragapult. We'll see. I'm expecting it'll probably be Vaporeon. That's what I'm thinking. He's probably thinking he has to eat two. He went Dragapult. Interesting. What's the plan? Is the plan to... I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. We'll see. Maybe he's Focus Sash? I'm not sure. Well, he fell to one. Oh, he got the Cursed Body. Was that the plan? Was the plan to get the Cursed Body? Because that shit, I mean, that shit looked like it worked pretty well. <laughs> that, shit, that shit looked like it worked pretty well. Okay, so he can go Mandibuzz here. If he goes Vaporeon, I'm just gonna I, I'm gonna sub and see what he does. Um, I was I'm assuming he's gonna Scald, but he might not. He might Toxic or something, or Protect. I don't think he would Protect. He might Wish. I don't know. I don't know what he'll click. He went Mandibuzz though, so I'm just gonna Iron Head and uh, basically hope for some flinches. Basically, uh, just hope I get some flinches right here. <laughs> Let's see. 
Alright, so I did about 30 something, which is no damage. Maybe I eat one? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. So I think if I flinch here, he's dead. Uh, Four divided by... You know what? I actually have enough for a substitute. He might roost. I'm going to sub just in case he roosts, so that way I'm behind a substitute and I can uh, get two more tries for a flinch. Wait, is my math off? Four. Oh, it is. I thought it was going to be 27. I'm so dumb. It was, um, I needed a, damn, I needed 26 to make a H. No, 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 wait. Wait, what? I need 36 to make a sub. So. I'm dumb. Well, am I still disabled? I don't know how that works. If I click it, will it tell me, oh, you're stupid. It was still disabled. <laughs> if I click it, okay, okay, okay. I was like, will it still tell me that? Well, I got my numbers wrong. Um, I would have had to flinch there. He would have been around the same HP. I probably lost about 20 hit points by doing that, unless I flinch right here. I'm the best, and I got no longer disabled. Awesome. Now I can lay it down in acrobatics. Okay, perfect. So if he lives with like 20, if he lives in the red with barely any HP, it'll have really mattered that I did not uh, double use it, which look at that. He used Roos, but I did just do like 50 something. I easily just did like 50 something. I might have did 60 there. So, I mean, he has to kill me because uh, he'll live this next one, but boy, will he'll be low. He will be low, baby. He'll have to drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop, 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 drop it, drop it low, girl. 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 That's what he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to drop it low. He's gonna have to drop it to the flow. He's gonna have to show me how he roll. Um, so it might be a little bit better to save it. I don't know. I was kind of thinking maybe I should save it because then uh, I could use it to attack Vaporeon because think about it thinking about it. Um, Vaporeon is going to be a little tough. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I have this thing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 perfect. Actually, you know what? I will actually go into him right this second. And if he makes the play good on him, I don't think he will. Um, but if he does make the play good on him, I'll have a, I have an answer. I'll just um, should I hard switch? No, I shouldn't hard switch. That would have been a bad play. But it doesn't matter because I killed this thing. And I get the speed boost. And then we'll see what he does here. If he goes. So he has Excadrill, Vaporeon. And. Wait, is it that? Is it just that? I think it's just that left. Excadrill and Vaporeon. Alright, so I need this thing to be alive in order to win this game. Um, so I will actually, I would just straight up parting shot into duck trio. So that way I trap this thing. I don't want, if he earthquakes me, great. That way I can get a full power reversal off. Uh, how much did that flinch matter? It definitely mattered. <laughs> let me not say it did not matter. That flinch let me get an acrobatics off. So that flinch definitely mattered. Um, but I think leading off with Charizard really put me in a great spot. Cause he didn't have, he didn't have any answers. Uh, for that G-Max. So a parting shot into Doug Drio and trap it. Oh. No, it should be okay. It should be okay. Alright, and he used Earthquake, perfect. It shouldn't even bring me to my Sash, but if it does, that's great. Because like I said, um, I can use a full power reversal on the uh, Vaporeon. Oh, 
Alright, and now he goes Vaporeon, and it takes a little bit of poison damage. So he can play like the Protect game, but here's the thing, like I also have Protect on my um my uh more pico so he can play the protect game we'll see we'll see what he does i'm gonna go straight to more pico and see exactly how he wants to play it because he could have protect and then um protect on my electric one if he protects on my electric one i'll see if he wishes but i'm gonna use protect right after and then i'm just gonna see what he wants to do Oh, I did so much damage though. Like, that's crazy. I did not think I was going to do so much damage. Yeah, he's gaining nothing because of the poison too. He won't He won't even be above 50. He'll still be at like 40. Ooh, hold on one second. And then the poison after? I don't know. I don't know if he can live. I don't know. We'll have to see. We shall see. Unfortunately, I don't have sub on my more Pico, but I am adamant. So I am pretty powerful. I am pretty powerful. I expect to protect here. Um, but even if he protects, I think I think he still dies. To be honest, I think even if he protects and then wishes, oh, he doesn't have it. Well, GG. Oh, that's it. So flinch was helpful, but. Who knows? I think I had it without it. I think my lead was really good. GG, dude. Anyway, I'll uh, wrap it up somehow. Peace.